Hey, it's Jessica and Rusty with Pull Through Sights and much like so many of you, we are quarantined. Uh, we didn't get to go camping this weekend so we thought we'd sit in front of the fireplace in our camper with our toasty beverages. Cheers to you, my right. friend, yep. for being quarantined, surviving the first week right. <laughs> together and uh, answer some questions. So we were, I don't know if nominated, we were tagged by uh, the Traveling Larsons and I'll put their link uh, below. Uh, where you can check them out, but we were tagged by them to answer some questions. So I didn't give Rusty a heads up on what the questions are. So here we go. Ready? Uh, can't wait. If you could change or add one thing on your RV, what would it be? Hmm. I would probably have one of those storage bags that you can pull up. Oh, so like a sliding a storage? Sliding storage thing, yeah. yeah. So I would add. You know what mine is? What's the first thing I asked when we walked into this camper? Do you remember? I don't. So when we first walked into this camper, the first thing I asked was, did the blue lights change colors? Oh. <laughs> so we have these, lights, yeah. what are they called? What are they called? They're, they're, LED blue they're like lights. LED blue lights uh, that are above our cabinets. And I was like, oh, do those change colors? And the sales guy was like, no, they don't. I was like, dang. So I think that would be the thing I changed. <laughs> have to talk louder. Oh, okay. okay. All right. All right. Question number two. <clears throat> Ready? Sure. What is something you didn't expect when you got your first RV? Ooh, I bet I know what yours is. What? I'm going to wait. I didn't expect. It's a tough one. I don't know. If I had a guess for you, I bet that you didn't think we'd grow out of the first camper as quickly as we did. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That was quick. That was a year. I don't think we did, but <laughs> that's how we justify this thing. <laughs> that's how we justify the 40-foot yeah. Montana, is that we grew out of the 27-foot tracer. Our St. Bernard was <laughs> cramped. Our St. Bernard was cramped. Yeah. Yes, that right. was the reason. Um, for me... I don't, I guess I didn't think that I would like camping as much as I did once we got a camper. I liked it okay when we had the tent, but it was a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. So, okay. <clears throat> Question three. What was the deciding factor to buy your first RV? Probably to get us in the woods a longer during the year. Yeah. To where we, because in a tent we couldn't camp in the summertime or. It had to be the right temperature. Yeah. Because it sucked to the heat. Being You're, sticky all night. Yeah. You're kind of a Nancy when it comes to being hot. I am. But equally, I'm a Nancy when it comes to being cold. I was done with the right. cold. Uh, I was. <laughs> it makes sense. I was done with a cold <laughs> butt at night. Right. I can't sleep with a cold butt. Um, I would say that. I, I agree with that. That was a deciding factor that we knew we would camp more if we had a had a camper. Okay. Question four. What was your favorite meal or what is your favorite meal to cook at camp? Depending on what time of year it is, but in the fall and when it's cold out, chili. Yeah. Deer chili. Yeah. With cornbread. Yeah. I would say that's probably it. That's our go to. Deer chili right. with cornbread. You didn't make that potato soup last year. Yeah, good that was good. Okay. Um, what's your must-see RV destination? Hmm. I would say the Grand Canyon. Yeah? That would be great to see the camper. With the camper? Yep. All right. So I think... Along with lots of other things. Along with lots of other We have <coughs> not been out west. No. Um, I've been... Colorado's as far as we went. Yeah. We went to Colorado on our honeymoon, so that's as far west as we have gone. And um, shout out to Haley, who is our uh, marketing guru. She lives in Fort Collins, and uh, we are itching to get out there and see her. But um, we also want to go farther west and see Yosemite and Grand Canyon and all that. Um, what's your favorite thing about RV? Gets me away from the city people. The city. We're kind of our city people. Yeah, no, but it gets me away from <laughs> everything in general. <laughs> I think um, 
as weird as this sounds, like there's a lot of things that I like about it, but one of the things that I do really like is the, like our setup. Like we can plug in our camper to our house. And so that makes it so much easier. There's been Sundays where I'm like, I don't feel like cleaning the camper or doing anything before we leave. So we just close it up, bring it home, plug it in. And I get to it like Tuesday or Wednesday. I think that's one of my favorite things because it's easy. Yep. Super easy. Okay. Um, next question. <clears throat> What's your least favorite thing about RV? I don't know if I have one. You don't? I don't think so. Not even dumping? It's just it's par for the course? It is what it is. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I have a least favorite thing either. Yeah. I would say that, I mean, if I had to pick one, having another home to clean but that's about it that's a stretch that's a stretch I mean that's stretching that's <laughs> like stretch. it takes 10 minutes yeah um okay what's a must have on your next RV tailgater pit boss oh pit boss shout out to pit boss hey we would uh love to have the tailgater that we gave away for free uh, um, gave it away and I don't have one <laughs> I think that um having the slide out storage we are we're kind of in love with that, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. We like that that slide out storage. Um, so that might be a must have on the next one. Uh, okay. What's your favorite adult beverage at camp or campfire retreat? <laughs> super coffees, yeah, we're hands down. Best. Super yeah. coffees are our favorite. Um, if you're not sure what a super coffee <coughs> is, shoot me a comment below. I'm happy to share the recipe, exactly what we do. Um, hint, it probably has a little little bit of this in it maybe um whatever you, whatever you prefer but super coffees are our favorite uh okay what's your favorite indoor rv accessory we have to look around that camper no. <laughs> we're like looking around accessory or feature <laughs> it just says favorite indoor rv accessory ac ac <laughs> shower <laughs> Okay. Fine, I don't want it to be hot. I know. <laughs> or probably heaters, fireplaces. I mean, I will say the fireplace is very nice. Yeah. The heat, our little ceramic electric heaters are great. Um, I would agree with the shower. Yeah. I can't stand being sticky um, or going to bed sticky. Even though you just took a shower. Yeah, even though you just bad. took a shower. Um, so, yeah. So that's it. That was 10 questions. Oh, there we go. Nice. Thank you to the Traveling Larsons for um, tagging us in this. And I will put all of their information below so you can go check them out. They are a young family from Oregon. And they are living full time in their RV, which um, is awesome. We would love to do that one day. Um, I would. Yeah. I, <laughs> he thinks I could live in the RV. All right. Well, thank you to the Traveling Larsons, um, and we will catch up with you guys all very soon.